All right, guys, today's flight is with the DJI uh, Mini 3 Pro and the Amada. And we're first going to have a look at these um, railway ties here. There's lots of them, thousands of them. We'll take a look from above with the uh, Mini 3 Pro, and then we'll fly through them with the Yavada. Have a look. Now, people around here in this area used to use these ties in their yards as a, um, you know, put up walls uh, in their yard, uh, different levels and things. They're good for that. They're, they won't deteriorate, but... Uh, all right, let's have a look with the Avada and uh, fly down low and uh, down the track and we'll see if we can count these things. There's got to be thousands of these. Take a minute to fly to the other end. Beautiful day. Ah. Uh, hardly any wind at all today. We just passed a railway tie back there that looked a little different. We'll have a look at it on the way back. It was a different color for some reason. So we'll see what that was. But look at these things, guys. Looks like there are some railways on the left side, a few, and the ties are on the right. And that's the end. So let's turn around and have a look at the uh, railway ties again on our way back. Yeah, landscaping. They used to use these uh, a lot for landscaping and things. I mean, it was illegal. It's t you're stealing them, but... Now, somewhere down along the line here, I did see, there it is, a green painted, must be a tie, green painted on the end. No idea why, one out of thousands. And head back home here. And we get back to the end where the tower is, that's where I'm parked, and the Trans-Canada Highway in the background. And then where the train goes under the highway. All right, back to the Mini 3 Pro, and let's have a look at the uh, railway ties from a different angle. And you can see the railways there. There's a lot of railway. Uh, there's lots of those there also. But like I said, look at all the railway ties. Man, oh man, oh man. And they look like they're used and not new. I don't even know if they use those kind of railway ties any nowadays anymore. Now it's right about here that I heard a train. And uh, so I thought I'd figure out where this train is coming from. It could come from one of three directions from where I'm parked, which is just off to the right there. And I don't see a train, but I hear it really loud. It doesn't have to be far away, but it's pretty loud. So I'll have a look down the track here where the, uh, where we have a Y in the, in, in the track here. So I don't see it yet, but I hear it. They're not blowing their horn or anything. It's just, I can hear it on their, because I'm only, uh, a hundred feet away from the track that it's on and now I see it and I see the uh, three three or four engines they have on there and they look like they're uh, tankers but that's quite far away but yet you wouldn't believe now I'm trying to figure out are they gonna go through or are they gonna turn did they actually switch the 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 switch there, the tie, or the switch. And are they going to... And I thought, yes, they are coming. They're going to go right by me. So cool. We'll go and buzz the train. See if there's anybody on board. 
Now, this is the interesting thing, guys, right here. I see this train coming towards me. I don't hear the other one because this one is right on me. We're getting close. But I turn and what happens? I see another train going the opposite direction on the same track. I'm, I'm thinking, I, I don't know. And it is loud. The other one is carrying sea cans. And this one here, so I wanted to see how long the other one is. It's quite long. That goes towards downtown Medicine Hat. And the one in front of me here goes out of town. So I have to see what's going on. Are we having a, 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 a collision here? I turn, there's the two uh, trains. Opposite directions. Now I realize uh, it's got to be a double track. I didn't know that. I thought it was a single track. So let's have a look at where they meet here. Awesome shot. Look at this guy's awesome shot right down the middle of the uh, two railways, uh, the two rails uh, trains. I imagine this happens more than enough times, but uh, today it happened for me, which is great. Now I'm just out of town. This is sort of an industrial area here. And there's the two trains. So I thought I'd uh, come back, match the speed of the train going with me, and uh, have a look at this awesome shot here. Two trains, one going there, going opposite directions. And then the railway ties in the background there, that dark strip across the horizontal strip there. And the train is now going under the highway, the Trans-Canada Highway, the number one highway was all across Canada. And the train is going underneath that now, so it's right, I'm like less than 100 feet away from this thing. And it's right in front of me, and I'm in a parking lot on the left side of the, tr of the track. So you should be seeing me shortly here. I'm right where the railway ties start, and right up to the rail uh, train there. So once again, guys, this was a thrilling flight. Uh, two trains came at the same time, but unexpected, which is great. And we took in a lot of took in a lot of uh, railway ties there, man. So guys, thanks for coming out. Stay tuned. Maybe next time we'll have that golf course for you. And uh, thanks for coming out, guys. Love to see you all here. And love you all. Come on back again.